Hello and welcome to Ken's Bar. Today we're going to talk about everyone's favorite subject, money. In the world of whiskey, wine, and beer, it's long been understood that you get what you pay for. And that is generally the case. The problem is that sometimes you can pay very little and get a great product. And sometimes you can pay a lot and get junk. When it comes to selecting a great whiskey, one of the most difficult things to do can be deciding how much money to spend on an individual bottle. Sometimes, a very inexpensive whiskey will be fantastic, and a very expensive one will not be very good at all. So what do you do? Well, there's several different methods that you can use. The first method is that you can take the advice of an expert, someone who knows what they're doing, who will tell you exactly what to buy, when to buy it, how to drink it, how to sip it, how to taste it, and how to live your life. Another method one can use is to simply use a Google search. Hey, what's a great whiskey for less than $45 or for more than $45? I've used this method before. Sometimes you get great results and sometimes you get poor results. I found Eagle Rare online just by reading some reviews. Another option you can use is to find an article in a whiskey drinker's magazine or online, again, that is a best whiskey for X number of dollars. And you'll find lots of articles that are titled something like the best 10 whiskeys for less than X number of dollars or for more than Y number of dollars. Another option that a lot of people don't think about that is actually becoming more popular is visiting a whiskey bar. Now you're gonna pay a lot more to try a single shot of whiskey than you would if you bought the bottle. A great example was when I was in Ketchum and I wanted to try the Warfield. I didn't buy a $100 bottle of whiskey and then try it. I went to sat at the bar and I tried a single shot. It was $20. But that $20 was $20 well spent because I loved it. And then I felt comfortable spending $100 for a bottle of whiskey. And finally, there's the option we use here at Ken's Bar, which is walk into a liquor store with a budget in mind, pick a bottle of whiskey off the shelf, buy it, and drink it. And if you like it, buy it again. If you don't like it, eh, mix it with Coke, get rid of it, and don't buy it again. One thing to remember, and that I live by, is don't get stuck in the tired old method of only drinking one thing. There are a lot of people who will only drink Jack Daniels or Jim Beam, and they simply won't try anything else. Now, if you have a look around my bar, you'll find that the most expensive whiskey I have is $100 a bottle. That is... Warfield Organic American Whiskey, brewed in Ketchum, Idaho. I did a review on that last week. The cheapest whiskey I have is about $15 a bottle. And the interesting thing is that the $15 bottle is actually quite good. And so is the $100 bottle. But I also have some whiskeys on the shelf that cost quite a bit of money that I don't like that much. Now, I don't have very many of those, but they do exist. And the point behind that is that you can spend a lot of money and get something that you don't like. And you can also spend very little and get something that you love. And this has to be your choice. People who do whiskey reviews can give you guidance, but at the end of the day, you have to understand that your palate is different than mine. And we're not always going to agree. In fact, I don't always agree with whiskey experts. They have very highly trained palates, and they can pick things out of a group of whiskeys that the rest of us would turn our noses up at. That's what they do. I'm just an average, ordinary, everyday Ken. I'm not an expert by any means. I know what I like, I generally know why I like it, and I also know I don't like to pay too much for it. Full disclosure, the six whiskeys we're going to talk about today do not sponsor me. In fact, there are no sponsors for Ken's Bar. Yet. Doesn't mean that there won't be in the future, it's just that there aren't right now. So the whiskeys that we're talking about come off my bar, I paid for them with my own money. Of the six whiskeys we're going to taste today, five of them are from Kentucky. They are Kentucky Straight Bourbon whiskeys. And one of these is from Oregon. From left to right, we have Evan Williams, Jim Beam Black Label, Eagle Rare Ten Year, Four Roses Single Barrel, Maker's Mark Idaho Director's Cut, and Westward American Single Malt Stout Cask. The whiskeys on the bar are arranged in order of price, from lowest to highest and left to right, with the Evan Williams being the least expensive and the Westward Stout Cask being the most expensive. So let's talk about each one of these whiskeys one at a time, and just in minor detail. We'll start with the Evan Williams Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. This is $15 a bottle. It's easy to find, and it's a nice, smooth, easy drinking whiskey. A lot of people won't drink this because it's cheap. This was actually a whiskey I drank straight, neat, right out of the glass, 
for a number of years, and it's just fine. It helped me get accustomed to drinking whiskey, and I recommend it. For 15 bucks, you can have a lot of this stuff in the bar. Next on the list, Jim Beam Black Label. Boy, this stuff is about $25 a bottle in most liquor stores. I got it on sale here in Idaho for $21. That's cheap. And we're going to, again, we're going to talk about this in a little bit more detail here in just a few minutes. Next, we'll talk about Eagle Rare Tenure. This is a gem. Typically about $35 a bottle. Absolutely brilliant whiskey. Cute little eagle on the label there. Look at that. It's beautiful. This is one of those whiskeys I found just by doing some online research. I'd never tried it before, but I wanted to. I couldn't find it in Idaho, but I did find it when I was visiting friends in Oregon. And we wound up bringing some home, and let me tell you, it's good stuff. Next, we'll go to Four Roses Single Barrel Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. For a number of years, this was by far my favorite, and it took a really great whiskey to knock this thing off its perch. $55 a bottle, roughly, in most places. Uh, wonderful stuff. Absolutely wonderful. Maker's Mark, Idaho Director's Cut, Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. $75 a bottle on the shelf. A friend of mine is one of those Maker's Mark ambassadors. He loves Maker's Mark. I personally love the standard Maker's Mark Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey, which is about $32 a bottle typically. This stuff is more than twice the money. I gave this one star in a review that I did a few weeks ago. And again, I'll leave a link down in the description. I don't know what they did wrong with this whiskey, but this is the one of the worst values I've ever found. At $75 a bottle, this stuff belongs mixed with Coke more than anything else. And when it's gone from the bar, I won't be getting it again. And last but not least, we're going to talk about Westward American Single Malt Stout Cask. This whiskey is from Portland, Oregon. This is the only bottle on the shelf right now that is sealed. This bottle has not been opened. And that's because I just finished my first bottle. My wife got me a new one for my birthday because she loves me. This stuff, $90 a bottle. And again, not bourbon. This is a single malt from Portland, Oregon. When it comes to the cost of a bottle of whiskey, I'm typically going to recommend that you buy what you can afford. You can get trapped in the idea of spending a lot of money on a bottle of whiskey. And you don't have a lot of variety. And when that bottle of whiskey is gone, well then replacing it can be difficult. That's why I keep an inexpensive daily drinker in my bar, and that is this stuff, Jim Beam Black Label. This is a Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. It's won numerous awards, and it's incredibly good whiskey, and it's also very inexpensive at typically $20 to $25 a bottle. That's what's in that jug over there. I buy the big bottles, the 1.5 liter and 2 liter bottles, and I just pour them into that thing. So when I want just a simple, easy drinking whiskey that's not complicated, I can just walk over to my jug over there, I push the little lever, I get a little bit of whiskey in a glass, and I sit down and enjoy it. The Jim Beam Black Label is wonderful, and I personally believe it is absolutely by far the best value in whiskey in terms of bang for the buck. How good is a whiskey versus how much did you pay for it? And that can be tricky because it depends on how much money you have. I like having inexpensive whiskeys around because I don't feel guilty walking into the bar and just having a drink of whiskey. But when it comes time to take a drink out of that bottle of Westward, I think about it. That's kind of a special occasion whiskey. It's expensive. It's not as expensive as the three and four hundred dollar bottles of really rare whiskeys that exist out there, but it still costs a lot. And I don't like to just guzzle it down. It's hard to replace. We can't get it in Idaho. I have to have it shipped here. And that makes it more special. So I don't drink as much of it as I would, say, the Jim Beam Black Label, which I can get anywhere. So when it comes to cost, here's something to consider. This stuff is $20 to $25 a bottle, and I believe is the best value in whiskey. This stuff is $75 a bottle, and it belongs all the way over here. There's no way this should cost more than $15. This is terrible. I don't know what Maker's Mark did to make that stuff, but it's absolutely atrocious. So the point I'm making there is that cost does not always follow quality. There are expensive whiskeys that are not very good. Now the big problem with this is that it can be really hard to learn this lesson without some trial and error. You can take the word of an expert, you can spend $100 on a bottle of whiskey, go home, try it, think, that's not very good, maybe I just don't know what I'm doing. Or maybe you just don't like that kind of whiskey and it's okay for you to say, well, I won't do that again. 
I learned that lesson with this Maker's Mark Idaho Director's Cut. I won't do it again. I'll keep buying Jim Beam Black Label as long as they keep making it as good as it is. So sometimes you just have to go down to the liquor store, grab a bottle of whiskey and buy it. But have a budget. Know what it is that you're buying and why. Well, that's it for today, folks. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Thanks a lot. Have a great day and enjoy your whiskey. I buy the big bottles, the 1.5 liter and 2 liter bottles, and I just pour them into that thing. And then when I want to drink, I walk up, I pinch off a little sip, and that was a stupid thing to say. <laughs>